Hello and welcome to today's Where's the Trade? And we are going to look at Void Gaming. So I want to break down the activity of the last two days, give you my analysis and what to expect here. So today we're seeing put activity pick up in the January 7s. These have 11 days to expiration and about 3,000 traded with opening buyers here. You can see in the time and sales on Thinkorswim during market hours that the bulk of them was a thousand blocks or a thousand lot that traded on the ISC at 40 cents. Now I don't see any stock traded with it as of yet, but I do want to take you back and look at the activity on Friday where on the February 8 contracts 11,000 traded and those were opening buyers on indication. Now a block this large or this amount of activity always has me a little uh, weary because it even though the things that I'm looking at here are are some some flow into some other strikes. You know, typically if you see it in one strike, it's not that indicative of a bullish bet. It's more of someone's a large fund is doing some kind of buy right. But because the six contracts and the seven contracts were active, it has me a little intrigued on this. But when I look at a few things, I am very uh, perplexed on what could occur here. And I don't really have a overall bias on the stock here. You know, when I look at some of this, the 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 activity, and I, I outline the the outcome that potentially could happen here. I look at this, and the thing that I have here that I'm looking at is we have resistance right here. You know, right at this level. So the left of the chart here, we have this congestion here where these these individuals were potentially buying here um, and then it breaks down comes back retest that breaks all the way back down here and now we're getting another retest so you know on the short term here we have a little bit of a inverse head and shoulder that could be forming here this is just a smaller pattern but it is knocking its head right into this resistance level which has me a little weary 690s resistance and then we come into seven and uh, that just even though the bullish activity I look at some of the other things like uh, names in this space like Las Vegas Sands, which is a little bit extended. You got MGM uh, coming into resistance as well. You have Win, And some of these are a little bit extended. Now, with the February contracts, they do have some time, but not as much time as I, as you would think if, if a stock were to pull back a little bit and then see a little bit of a move higher. So when we look... Or when I look at uh, one of the other charts here, Boyd Gaming, um, I'm looking at a daily chart here, and the volume profile right here is where resistance is at. It's at 688, about 690, and that outlines where exactly what we're looking at to the left of the chart. Now, if it is able to get above it, and you can see here on the longer term that you have a little bit of you know what could be considered an inverse head and shoulders as well, then it could get into eight dollars here. And if it can get past that, it can start coming back into the eight nine dollar level. I think that's going to take a little bit of time, but when I look at one of the indicators that I have here, I'm getting a um, a sell signal. It hasn't gone red yet, but on the green here, it did give a buy signal. And previous to that, when it went sell, it went sell right here and actually sold off from this level here to here. So the last time it did give a sell signal, that's what it. But that's what occurred here and the last time as well when it went sell it uh, took a little bit and then started to migrate lower so that is my thought process on boy gaming and really even though the option activity is there sometimes it's just not really an edge and that is always what I'm looking for here's what I would like for you to do now make sure you click subscribe if you haven't if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment below. Tell me why you liked it, why you did not like it. And if you found the information to be valuable and you think that there's someone else out there that you know that could use the information or find the information valuable, make sure you click the share icon here and share the video with them.